Welcome back guys to another episode. At this point, it might as well just be a series. I don't even know. This is what, episode six, seven? But welcome back to Lies of P. I think what we have to do now is just speak to, to this guy here and let him know we've got the cure. I believed in you and my belief has been rewarded. Yes. She can be cured. Yes. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... Oh my what God. What would you choose? If he dies, he dies. I wish she could stay with me longer. Even if that time might be painful for her. Is that selfish of me? Feelings are such frightening territory. I hope she forgives me for my choice. I will dispose of that cure, lest I be tempted. Please accept this token of my gratitude. Will you do, um, me a favor? For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. Just give this to Alidoro. I'd give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. He'll understand the significance of this gift. I know. Just do this for me, and, and I'll be grateful. Four-fingered glove. A gift of gloves made by Eugenie for Alidoro. Uniquely, it only has four fingers. Eugenie vividly remembered the stalker who saved her from the workshop tower right before she starved to death. Okay, bye guys. Wow! Uh, you need me? I was surprised when the bell rang. The Isle of Alchemists, you say? And monsters. This is a nightmare. I'm living my own nightmare. Puppets and alchemists forget it. It is their secret island. A place hidden from the world. But even if we could find it, how to get there? <sighs> what about... I don't know if it even works anymore. But one still requires fuel, needs must when the devil drives. There could still be a way. A dangerous but marvelous mode of transportation. But... It won't work without a golden ergo. My research, well, Purginella did a lot of the heavy lifting, has led me to believe you can find one deep within the barren swamp. Oh. It's also led me to believe it is guarded by actual monsters. So, I can't make this decision for you. It's up to you. No, I'm not going to tell you the details yet. Not until we have that golden ergo. It's just not worth getting our hopes up, companion. Okay, so... The Baron Swamp, that's exactly what we were just talking about. Uh... Okay, where are we here? The Baron Swamp Tram Station. Okay, I think... We, speak of the devil, I think we've just arrived at this area. This is great. This is, uh... This looks abandoned. This is not great. Whoa. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Why do I not have a stargazer right off the bat? This is not good for business. Let me just check back here, make sure we don't miss anything. Dude, what the hell? Hello? In this issue of Anini's Guide, we'd like to introduce a special place different from our previously featured attractions, and we do not mean a special in a good way. Of course, it may cater to a few people with peculiar tastes, but if you're an adventurer who wants to know all about Krat, it's worth learning about its shadows. In that sense, the Barren Swamp is the area that showcases Krat's shadows well. The Barren Swamp is where scrap puppets are discarded. 
Because it's composed of swamps and ravines, it wasn't part of the city's development. In the past, it was briefly a coal mine, but it was soon forgotten because of the ergo discovery. Later, a few shrewd factory businesses concerned about scrapped puppets began to dispose of them illegally. Luckily, the city announced that they're going to be turning the Baron Swamp into a park with the exhibition just around the corner. So we're seeing some sort of hope here. It's a living grave of hell. How about seeing this kind of place with your own eyes before anything's developed, good or bad? An experience is an experience. Rating 2.5 out of 5. An attraction for those who want to see Kratz's shadow. Long boots are a must. All right, that's actually pretty concerning. This place is... Okay, there's no easy way to say this. It's a puppet graveyard. Oh, Humans God. call it an illegal dumping site. The city tried to stop it, but eventually had much bigger concerns. If the Grand Exhibition's horrific solution spread this far too, I think it's just too terrible to think about. Oh, why am I thinking about it? Oh, dude, I don't, I don't like fighting this thing. I hated this damn enemy. Perfect. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Let's get these boys out of here. I'm going to try and destroy that. Let's see if I can hit that. Is that an explosive barrel? Yes. Oh! I don't, I don't fucking believe it. Oh, so those dogs are different. They've got like something on the head. They explode. Okay. The ones we saw prior, they had the the, the, the chainsaw type of thing. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. See, that's what I like about this weapon. You can really just, you can cheat the system in a way. You know, all the dogs here are experimental. This one's got a bayonet in his forehead. I, I don't know what's going on here. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna probably be sticking with this weapon for the remainder of the game. If I'm being completely honest. Belfort Superior Installation Converter. What? And the Puppet Heavens is that. Slightly better. Let's keep it moving here. Whoa, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? is this corruption oh i hate the corruption all right let's keep it moving oh my, oh my god this place sucks this place absolutely sucks okay i gotta get up there and get those guys down oh my god no no i am not gonna fight that thing again 100% No, I'm not Nah, bro, I'm not No We're not doing all that No, we're not No, no, no Stop Oh, dude, he's coming! What the fuck? Oh my god, I can't see shit here. What's going on? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna... Oh my god! I don't believe this. Oh my god! I don't know what's going on. It's like I woke up and I just decided to suck at video games. Bro, what the fuck is going on here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Yeah, sorry, dude. 
Bro, get out of here. Is there a stargazer over this way? <laughs> what, what the fuck is this? Oh my God, what is this? This is crazy. All right, and this just goes back down. Hold on, I'm trying to see what the heck. Oh, did he fall down? He fell down. If I were to find a, star, uh, a stargazer a little bit closer here, I would I would take out that clown because God knows he probably does have something kind of useful. But since I don't want to risk it right now, considering I've died a thousand times here alone, I'm just going to play it safe. <laughs> you know? All right, we've got that guy over there. Let's go up top. Let's get rid of the high ground first. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Ah! You've, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me right now. You have got to be kidding me. What is this plate? The fuck is this place? I didn't even see you, bro. I didn't even see you. If it were not for this weapon, I, I honestly don't know where I'd be. I mean, this, 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 this fucking... What the fuck? Oh, this is a shortcut. That's gotta be a shortcut. 100%. That's where we came from, right? Oh my god, what is happening? This is insane. Yeah, that's that's the same uh, factory we came from. I'm, I'm gonna go save because uh, your boy's not looking too hot. Is it? Oh, there he is. Okay, I see him. Let me go save. Oh my goodness, this place is crazy. This has got to be the most challenging place so far as far as just like unpredictability. At least... The terms of the bargain. Almost intolerable. Well, it's not like I care about those hotel people anyway. But there are limits. Hmm. Ahem. <clears throat> How do you do? It's quite odd that we should meet in a place like this. Weird. Oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you. After all, I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. In fairness, I do benefit from your prowess as well. I shall tell you something since we're nearly peers. They say a terrible monster lives on the cliff at the end of the swamp. It behaves like a crow gathering shiny things. I have absconded with treasures from its lair, rare parts and weapons worthy of a hero. Now catch your interest? If you're hunting ergo monsters, you might put that friendly tip to use. You're a worthy hunter and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. You're a worthy hunter, and it is... Here you go. What's this? A gift for a rescuer. From a technician girl. <laughs> hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway, thank her, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. Is this a practical joke? <sighs> My God, I never did like that girl. <laughs> just like him. Oh, never mind. I thought you had better taste than this. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight. What the hell? You're a worthy hunter. What the fuck? Really? You're a worthy hunter. Okay, I guess he didn't like it. Shit. All right, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so slow, though. I'm gonna come back here to the hotel for a couple of things. I want to see what uh, Eugenie says about this guy not liking her gift, and then maybe possibly upgrade the hey, weapon. About my request last time, did you give Alidoro the gloves? Phew. 
Even the Union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right. I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Alidoro happy? Oh, God. Don't do this to me. What? <laughs> His fingers are fine? That can't be right. And no, I'm not being precious about my work. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. Oh. Something to puzzle over. In any case, thanks for doing your part. Really? Are you kidding me? Thank God. I was about to buy that. I always welcome. Let me see. Hold on. About the uh, Grand Covenant. Uh, the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? <laughs> Very well. Geppetto himself created it and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet. Uh, a sort of conscience and in theory it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening it's because we don't truly understand ergo at least that's my view sometimes ergo driven puppets gain what we call awakened egos individuality mm. more or less which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it though that is rare or used to be. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. So, the King of Puppets, how did he get around the Covenant, I wonder? He used the Ergo wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple... Brilliant, genius, and a man about town. <laughs> I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now and your choices. I know I sound obsessed, but when the workshop tower collapsed, he saved me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble. If it wasn't for Ali Doro's sacrifice back then, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. That's why it's so puzzling. It's not like his finger could grow back. Could you find out more about Alidoro for me? If I called it surveillance, would that be too cruel? In any case, we need to watch out. You be careful too. What if it's not him? What if it's like somebody else? Mm. I know my way around. I don't know. You just never know. Anyhow, to upgrade this weapon, we need... Dark Moonstones of the Covenant. I'm gonna do Motivity. I wanna see... How strong this weapon really is. I know that this weapon, the more you hit, like as it gets blue, I figured out that it, it gets faster. So it starts off very slow, but the more hits you start getting with it, the faster it becomes. And obviously that fades away with time. I might be switching back to the Ripper just honestly just because that one's already a plus three and I don't know man who the fuck is this hello oh god I'll see what this weapon's all about come on shit faster Oh my god. Oh my. That's it's, it's just not my play style, honestly. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. <laughs> that actually worked. 
<laughs> Not gonna lie, dude's pretty strong, huh? I'm going back up there. Just gonna go check out what the heck he was guarding so intensely. Let's check it out. There we go. I'm thinking honestly, optimally, the best thing to do. Ooh, a recharge amulet. The best thing to do in this game is to just stick with one weapon that you find and you really like and then just kind of go from there restores hp continuously oh okay that's very interesting Ooh, that's heavy as shit No, man i honestly don't know if i prefer this weapon i know it's good and i'm pretty sure if we upgrade it to the same level as like the one we have and we're gonna fucking die i also equipped that amulet honestly that restores health but i'm taking a look at the rate that it restores the health and i mean i, I guess it's fine but in a boss fight or anything that's not gonna really do much i mean i guess it's cool to like get to an area so stargazer and then you don't want to use your pulse cells. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna take this guy out of here. This is a dead end. Alright, here we go. Sorry, bro, you're yesterday's news. Doing that tough now, huh? Now that I've got my puppet ripper? I don't think so. Yes! Ow, okay. Chill. Here we go. Let me heal up real quick. Nothing, bro. Cake. Easy. It's easy, bro. All right, so that's what I wanted to know. It's it's a dead end, and that's what I wanted to confirm, that I wasn't missing anything in particular down here. And now that we've cleared out this whole entire section, I think we're good. I think we just got to take out that clown puppet. And then from there on out, I think uh, it's safe to, to go to the next area. I think I just healed up for no reason, honestly. See, that's not something I want to deal with. I don't want to deal with these guys trying to shoot me and this guy trying to hit me as well. There we go. Bam, bam. Move out of the way, move out of the way. Yes! Alright, he's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. <laughs> yes! And we've got some more bear traps. Here we go. Yeah, bro, the range on this weapon is just hard to give up. Okay, calm the fuck down. This looks, uh, this looks inviting over here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, what is this place? <gasps> Bro, where am I? This is insane. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me, right? Wow, dude, there's no... There's no way, dude. Okay, I'm... Just 
going to go ahead and assume that that rocket does not reach this little cul-de-sac. No, it does not. This is some fucking bullshit. This is actually insane. Like, I, I'm, at di I'm at a disbelief right now. down below he could hit me here okay with this puppet here i think he's not shooting it anymore i'm too low out of here I can't die here bro I, I really cannot die here oh my god what the actual fuck what the actual fuck is this Oh my god. I'm out of here. What is your problem? I should have probably done this from the very beginning. Sir, you are a fucking pain in the ass. Can I control this? No way. Okay, that's good. So if you actually hit the cannon, it also helps you restore your health. Which is uh, it's, it's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. And the live puppet... The live puppet axe. What the f... Wow! What the fuck? Yeah, that's right. Ugh. I got some more in me too. Wanna see? Come here. Come here. Check this out. Ugh. And well, that actually was not even worth it. But hey, you know what? You live and you learn. That's all that matters. Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be really hard again just to give up this weapon. This is just too good. It's too good, man. It's that it's got a really good range. Oh, it's him again. Fuck. It's got a really good range and then the speed is actually not half bad. And the stamina consumption not half bad either. And I fucking died. I feel like I've died more in this episode than I have in the entire damn walkthrough that I've done. Let's go. Let's go. You ain't shit. That's right. You ain't shit. God. Absolutely destroyed, bro. Get out of here, little punk ants. I don't even want to begin to to try and understand how how annoying the boss here is going to be because this is just Oh my god. What is that? 
a dark moonstone of the covenant why is he glowing red i don't want to find out let me let me uh let me touch grass real quick before i even decide to interact with that puppet over there seems kind of dangerous hello sir wow so they do exist are the puppets like me not bound by the grand covenant huh i thought i was forever alone Without the Covenant, my kind hates me. Monsters, humans, puppets, they all hate me. But I want to be friends with humans. If I learn how to feel, would that be possible? If you tell me how, I'll return the favor. I want to learn how to feel. Teaching him. Hello, my only friend. Do you try to clap? Clapping is <laughs> a mimicry of a joyful heart. It's good to feel alive. <laughs> Thanks. We gotta go up there. Oh, that's just fucking great. I wonder if we can use them to take out these big robots too. That'd be That'd be kind of interesting. Now the question is how do I get up there? Oof. This is locked. This guy seems to be a little bit more guarded than the last one. Okay, let me go up through here. Just gotta be away. There's always a way. I will not stop until I find a way. Uh, okay, I think we've arrived at a dead end, possibly. They have taken over the post. Beware of the rocks when entering the ravine. Oh, shit. Now, there's another entrance. I'm trying to find every which way possible. Oh, my God. Yo, what the f Experiment report of order. Test subject 890. The most successful case from the prototype elixir injection experiments. Three patients suffering from the petrification disease who got the elixir injection at the same time died right up until their deaths. Uh, they experienced painful necrosis and skin ruptures, seizures and convulsions and crystalline mes uh, metas metastasis uh, throughout the body. Ultimately, they became uh, mutations known as carcasses. Number 890 was able to suppress neutralization side effects and has been stable for 56 hours so far. Potential opinion. I confirm that uh, the order's proposal to take a stalker with verified physical abilities as a sample is very effective. The sample attracted from subject 890 is estimated to help elixir development in the next step. Sister Adriana, who will receive the next baptism, is expected to be able to fulfill the order's wishes. Wake up, evolve, ascend. We, the Reborners, will prepare for the birth of God. Alrighty then. Bunch of freaks. I'm gonna go down below. I'm thinking we've got to find a way to open up that gate. Who the fuck are you? Ah, this must be quite an urgent patient to seek out my humble abode. Uh, yeah. You are still breathing. I must treat you quickly. Grod cannot have any more live patients. Trust me, it's better this way. It is far nobler to die as a human. Sure, dude. No vital signs. You must be dead. I'll dispose of you properly. You sure about that? I don't know. I don't think you know who you're messing with. I, I 
really like these little mini bosses. They're pretty dope. Let's see what he gives us. What was her name? Ah, uh, I don't recall. All right, let me heal up just in case. Oh, what the fuck? Oh gosh. Oh my god. I'm not about to die to no damn owl here. What was her name? Uh, I don't know, I don't man. Recall. Good, we got this. We got this. One more hit. Wow, he blocked that. What an ass. No, 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 no. Calm down. I remember now. My Adelina. All right, so we've got a mask. Honestly, that was kind of fucking pointless. <laughs> All that for a mask. I mean, we can rock with this for a little bit, I guess. I am not number 890. Name, a precious forgotten. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Guys, we have found the secret stash. Get this. Fancy Vanini collection. Okay. Okay. We probably ought to go and go to Hotel Crop first before continuing here. We're going to go ahead and level up stamina one more time. That's right. Can we do another upgrade as well? I think we can. No, we cannot. Okay. Stamina it is. Also, Vanini. Got something else. Even. Here we go. Master Vanini's collection trends of prestige can always count on seeing a bit more than the average customer. I am talking about you, sir. Shall we pay a visit to the House of Vanini's private reserve? Ooh. At the House of Vanini, even... Request appraisal for collectibles. Hmm. Purchase. All right, what does he have here? Ooh, temporarily increases weapons critical rate. That's nice. That's very nice. Wow. Look at this shit. Increases max amount of HP, stamina, and legion. That sounds nuts. Should I buy that? I mean... <laughs> yes, I'm gonna buy that. That sounds really crazy. Oh, damn. Alright, we got the uh, tr uh, the attack link, which is what I've been wanting to get. This ought to be great. Alright, that's gonna do a pretty massive hit there. So that's gonna be fun. Let me check that out. All right, so we're gonna come down here to the mine caves or whatever this is. This reminds me of like Resident Evil 4 for some reason. Oh, these are these creatures. What the fuck? Relax, Grandma. I'm here to slay, baby. I actually rather fight these guys than the fucking puppets. I hate the puppets. They've got no chill. And there's a stargazer right here. That is apparently locked. Okay. I know for a fact. Well, I don't know for sure, but there's got to be a way up there. You see? And then that's how we get to that tower with the guy that's like shooting down missiles or whatever. We 
We've got to be very careful here. This could be very, very dangerous. Alright, sweet. Damn, look at us go, bro. Not half bad. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why this weapon, clearly at the moment, is just untouchable. Great speed. Well, good speed. But the range is just, man, it's 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 kind of addicting to have a weapon like this. I just don't want to let it go, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. <laughs> don't ask me how I knew, but I knew. I've died so many times to some shit like that that at this point in time it's just inevitable. You know? It's common sense. Maybe in episode one you could have probably fooled me a couple times. But no more. No 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 no. Alright, I've got uh bruh. <laughs> you don't wanna do this. Alright, you don't wanna do this. Oh shit. Okay, I'm getting fucking spit on. Alright, we've gotta go that way. Heal, 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 heal. I'm just kill him off. Don't want to do anything too fancy just in case. This better this better be important. I don't know. A legion caliber. Oh, dude, that's right. We've got the legion attack. I gotta use that shit. I completely just forgot. I've always heard that it's it's literally like the best legion arm attack to to have in this game. And what happened? I gotta hold it down. I think I gotta hold it down. Oh shit. That is so fucking shit. That is so fucking shit. What the fuck was that? There is no way. Yo, that's fucked. That is so fucked. Fucking assholes. You know, I just traveled from the other side, right? I, I just hope you know that. That's that's insanity, man. Oh my gosh. I came from the other side completely. Wow. Alright, let's see if we can grab this. Alright, apparently we couldn't do that the last time, so there's that. Okay. Yep, it's coming. Alright, we got this, bro. Oh, you're stupid. There's a butterfly nearby. Got to be very careful. This is going to be the way. Okay. It's like 
Some of these things don't even make fucking sense. Stone, no, it's it's multiple. Okay, go back here, go back up top. We got this. It's just patience. We're doing all of this so we can hopefully reach the top of the uh of the tower, maybe? Yes, I think so. See how often these these rocks kind of the boulders, how often they come down. Let's get this. Now is this? for a half a moonstone. All right, we did it. We freaking did it. I think we're on the right path now. I think we're definitely going to reach the top of that tower. I think we're here. Things are looking bright. Now right, we got these guys out of the way. Seem to have a chest up there. I'm gonna grab this. This is definitely the shortcut that we've been waiting for. 100%. And then there's the other shortcut over there. Let me go check out this area because I feel like this might be a dead end. Hopefully I'm correct. And of course, there's a fucking bear. Oh my god! No way you can do that on that massive beast. That's insane. That's actually insane. So there, there was an infected bear. That's why I saw all the traps and I was like, well, maybe, maybe that can't be a thing. Ooh, hold up. That looks, that looks, that looks, that looks dangerous. Not as heavy. More disruption. No, I'm good. I had a feeling. Notice how I kind of paused. I, I just had a... I had a feeling. What the fuck is that? Oh man, that new move. Oh wow. I am telling you, that Legion Arm move is going to be money. What do we have here? City long spear blade and city lungs. Yo, that looks crazy. Look at all the weapons we have. Like, this is just getting out of control. Look at this shit. It's a spear? Let me see if I can. Oh, you can do this on almost anything. What the fuck is this, man? Damn, 
damn, we can only do that twice. Oh shit. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yes! I don't know what the fuck this is, but... I gotta... I gotta take this little dude out. Stone. Oh, that's incredible. What else did he give me? Hold on a second. Increase max stamina. I'm gonna go for this. There's a lot of farming to do in this area. This is probably the best farming area so far that we've encountered. There's so many enemies. How are you doing, bruh? Okay, what do we have? Legion magazine, dim ergo. Let's go around. Probably ought to go and unlock the, uh, the door, I think. Just gotta take the stairs down. But I wanna take this guy out. This guy's been pissing me off for far too long. Come here, punk. That's right. Over. It is over. Right, take the stairs down. Oh wow, there was there was a stairs right here. I'm I'm a fucking idiot. Wait, where does this lead me to? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Where the fuck does this go? We never found this place, right? No, this is somewhere completely different. Okay, so this is where we got to go to next. That's where we're headed to next. Just wanted to make sure. I'm like, did I miss this by any chance? Let's go down here. I'm going to explode that shit. Look at the range on this, man. This is ridiculous. The range is ridiculous. Got some more ergo. Lift this up. For now, we're not going to destroy the puppets of the future. Um, they might be obviously good to kill. They might have some good rewards, but I think we're just going to keep moving forward here. I feel like if we continue to do that, we're probably going to be there for a minute. Just because the puppets keep spawning in and it just becomes pretty annoying. And what the fuck is this? Oh, an earthquake. That came from the direction of Krat Central Station. Oh, this could be bad, pal. Really, really bad. Of course it's bad. Oh, God. All right. Let's keep going. So there's a new stargazer. It's good. Good, 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 good. Why in the world is that thing even here in Karanta? I thought they were joking when the city dispatched me to catch the monster. I figured it was probably a broken puppet or a bear with a petrification disease. That green thing is huge. What on earth did it eat in the swamp to grow so big? I don't think it's the waste problem. I've observed that it it's uh, obsessively protects its nest and likes to bring toys here okay it feeds on ergo and that's why it grows so big blasted bastard screw you all i think that green guy just made by the alchemist for sure or he's just their mistake how else can they ignore our backup request like this or they send us are we prey not hunters guard post captured soon lost control of ballista impossible to take back i ask for forgiveness i i think we're uh, we're about to fight the boss here Mm. 
<sighs> uh, hey, are, are you a treasure hunter too? Strange to me, someone in my line of work. I know how this looks, but I'm not a thief or anything. <laughs> I am on a serious expedition. You wouldn't happen to know a, a treasure hunter named Alidoro, would you? I'm a big fan. I plan my expeditions to follow Alidoro's traces, but ugh, this lock has me at a dead end, and I so wanted to explore the hermit's cave. Oh, all I can do is keep plugging away. If you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll mm. get this place open. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. Uh, if you come back by, say hello. Okay, uh, about Alidoro, about the discovered treasure. You never heard of Alidoro? He's a treasure hunter and one of the best. And unlike a lot of the riffraff in Krat, he's not a thief. He's a pro who excavates antiquities methodically. And professionalism is important when you're talking about Ergo. Just mention Ergo and everyone cares about the history behind the ruins. That's why Alidoro has the reputation he does. The quality of his information and the condition of the antiquities are on another level. I know there are rumors about Alidoro lately, but I know jealousy when I hear it. Okay. About recent rumors. The rumors? Well, for starters, they're nonsense. Alidoro is the last person you'd suspect of crimes like fraud and theft and assault. It's crazy. I've even seen a wanted poster of him. Those alchemists must be behind it. Those guys act like they own the ruins and they don't want treasure hunters to earn an honest living. I mean, come on. We're talking about the Alidoro who saved all those lives in the workshop tower rubble. So, no, I don't believe a word of it. Ugh. Would you get a load of this? I grabbed it as a souvenir, but it's just malicious propaganda. You take it. A con man who calls himself a treasure hunter wears a hound mask charged with fraud, impersonation, theft, assault, and other serious crimes. He's very good at tricking people, so watch out. I had a feeling when I heard him talk to himself like that. Life is short, and all I, I can do is keep... My treasure? Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of cipher device, but I don't know how it works. I don't want to throw it away. I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. I found it between the corpses of two thieves who died fighting over it. You know what they say. No honor among thieves. But I can't make heads or tails of it. If you want it, it's yours. Okay. Encrypted storage device in the shape of a metal cylinder, and he might be able to decode this device if you take it to him. Hmm. Isn't this uh, a cryptic vessel? Well, I would expect nothing less from you. What I mean, of course, is that this is a humble invention of mine. A cipher device. Once your information is locked in here, only you can get it out. <laughs> of course, once people realize the value of a truly unbreakable way to keep secrets, knockoffs flood the market. The trials and travails of true genius, forever copied, never credited. But I admit, even some of these knockoffs could still hold secrets. You're welcome to take a crack at, uh, well, cracking it. Who knows? It could lead you to something truly valuable. Or at least more practical. Alright, hands over the old cryptic vessel. There you are. Now, just leave this to me. Done and done. You will find Venini always seeks to rise to the challenge at hand. Uh, okay. Orders. An old shack in the tomb slums in the Malum district. We're gonna go and see if we can find that after this... This area here. Let's... Oh, gosh. Let's let's handle this guy. Or this... <laughs> this thing. That is ginormous. Oh, my God. We're gonna die. Yep, we're, we're dead. Might as well say we're dead. 
We're probably also gonna need to put that amulet that's gonna be against petrification. Oh, what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Literally. Yeah, we're dead. Green monster of the swamp. Okay. Oh, this is terrible. Decay. Sorry, not petrification. Decay. Heal up, heal up. saying anything. I mean, I don't know what to do with this thing. I love that you can do that move on any enemy. I think that's pretty slick. This is gonna be phenomenal. Yeah, this is this is just gonna be uh, one of those days. If this guy has two stages, I'm, I'm screwed. If he has two stages, I'm screwed. I'm really screwed if he does. Here's to hoping he doesn't. Yes. <sighs> please, just just do not evolve or nothing come out of you, and please just just go, just leave. Oh my goodness, he. He is going in there. He's going in there, isn't he? Oh my god. He's going in there. I can't deal with this. No way. I I cannot deal with this. Why am I such an idiot? Why why did I even think that there was gonna be only one stage with this? This is Dude, what are you doing? 
Everything was going so good. Potion. Here we go. Oh, wow. There's my weapon. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to take a break. Honestly, I'm going to take a break. All right, so we're back. And believe it or not, this is a completely different day. It's been about two days since we last sat here and played Lies of P. This episode in general, this boss has just been disgusting. I hate him. I hate this boss. I do not like it. It is the worst boss so far. Super unpredictable and just flat out annoying. But here we go. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, I actually stopped his heavy attack. That's pretty gnarly. Okay. Okay. Man, the, the, the durability in this weapon is so ass right now. I'm gonna need to change my, uh, my grinder. Get in there, get in there. Just have to be careful. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Perfect. Okay. Let's do this. This is where it gets a little gnarly. I don't really know this guy's moves. Seems to be a little bit unpredictable in this state. Okay, I'm just gonna let him do his crazy shit. Okay, let me take some health. What the fuck? Calm down, dude. Heal up. Heal up again. That decay is a pain in the ass. Stage is like unpredictable. Like, 
16 different limbs that you can get hit with. Like, it just does not make any sense to me. Fuck. Bad, bad move. Need the health back, bro. I'm never gonna beat this guy. Oh, fuck off! World, do you see these attacks? How do you? This is so ridiculous.
What? shit myself. I'm gonna shit myself if I beat this guy. I am literally about to shit my pants. I'm about... I can do this. I can do this. For all the fucking marbles! Get out of there! Run! been at this for four hours just today alone <sighs> I had a feeling you'd be the perfect bait I got what I wanted thanks to you the last hero weapon is finally in my hands I knew where it was but I didn't dare lay my hands on it the swamp is too dangerous someday soon you'll see you have my thanks and you've earned a nickname, Alidoro's Best Beat. See you at the hotel. This is the hardest boss in the entire Thank game so far. Thank you for your hard work, <laughs> Alidoro's Best Beat. Let's go back to the hotel and celebrate the spot. I am, I'm internally shaking. Like you have my... No, can it be? It can. Are you hurt anywhere? Ha! You never fail to surprise me, companion. Now, allow me to return the surprise. This little wonder creates a lead acid battery in a flash. The golden ergo is the purest form of power we can use, and it's nearly perfect. We could power a city block with this. You see, the alchemists ordered transportation from me, powered by this. I'm not sure, but maybe it's still in their underground base. Just one problem with the base. I don't know exactly where it is. I don't know in exactly either. I had to just hand it over immediately after the launching ceremony. After all, I am the prince of the Krat social scene and I surrendered to their mysticism. There. 
It's done. Now take it. Hmm. A secret alchemist's underground lair. That sounds like something Antonia might well have heard of. You'd better ask her about it. Golden lead acid battery. What the hell does that do for us? Uh, obviously, we're going to go here. Okay, this is the material that Vanini said you needed to find the way to the aisle. Special ergo enabled. We need to move the giant submarine. It is manual. Okay. Obviously. Uh, let's go here. No, I'm not going to take that. Let's let's go and uh, let's go give it to this guy. Aladaro. What does he have I for us? I found the last treasure thanks to you. The saber. A precious artifact from overseas. It'll always remind me of the rascal who stole it and then fell into the nest. I, I tried to save him, but uh, I failed. Let the punishment fit the crime, I say. <laughs> and in a twist of fate, you must become the weapon's true owner. A great really? weapon called... How about the wanted poster? Hmm. What's this? A poster singing my praises? Oh dear, your practical jokes go too far. A, a wanted poster? <laughs> right, yeah. Let me, let me explain. There is an unscrupulous reporter called Medoro, and he's the epitome of yellow journalism, and he only writes favorable articles if you bribe him. One time, I didn't give him a certain antique he wanted, and he slandered me, just like this. What has this world come to? Even noble explorers searching for true history get lambasted for all to see. <sighs> Perhaps I should be pleased that this scrap of paper is powerless, as there's no authority to pay the reward. You can keep it as a souvenir. A great <laughs> weapon calls... We've got, uh, I believe, this one, the Ghost Walk Amulet, which allows you to do a Fury Attack Dodge. And this is the Two Dragon Sword, which looks really, really cool. Um, is that any good? I don't know. I'm just going to go for that. Fuck it. Holy smokes. Really, really nice. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, could you show me that saber? Uh, sure. I recognize it anywhere. This is a saber from the country of the morning. You found this in the barren swamp? That's odd. Remember how I said my family were weapon experts? One of my earliest memories is of them talking about sabers like this. Maybe a thief stole this from the Grand Exhibition Gallery. Though it's just a gallery of ghosts now. With no one claiming ownership, I suppose it's yours. But take good care of it. This weapon carries a little bit of my heritage. I know okay. my way around a weapon. So, what do we have? Dark Moon of the Covenant. That would be for the blade, and it'll put it at 130. Hmm. I don't know. Then we also have this, which is... Uh, I'm not going to touch it now, just in case. Honestly, man, this was so time-consuming. I don't know if we'll, if we'll have another episode. I really don't know. I have to kind of sleep on it and see if like that itch kind of comes back to me. But this was just absolutely hideously painful okay it was very painful but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did drop me a like i would really appreciate it on this one especially and uh thanks for watching